starting with numerical number 1.1 now here a fan is rotating at 90 revolutions per minute so this directly says that frequency is given to you that is 90 revolutions per minute if we will convert it into revolutions per second so revolutions per second so to convert it into seconds one minute is equal to 60 second so you will divide by 60 means at place of minute you will write 60 seconds here you have 90 so this and this cancels 3 3 is a 9 3 2 is a 6 so it is 3 upon 2 revolutions per second now it is then switched off the fan is switched off now if the fan is switched off of course the frequency final frequency is going to be 0 now it stops after 21 revolutions now here capital N is given that is number of revolutions number of revolutions that is capital N that is 21 calculate the time taken by it to stop so they are asking you to calculate time taken by the fan to stop but final frequency means it has stopped so the final frequency is 0 and this is that initial frequency time taken by the fan to stop assuming that the frictional torque is constant now if you will study the formula of torque in this chapter if you see it is I alpha if tau is constant of course alpha is going to be constant alpha is nothing but angular acceleration now whenever alpha is constant we can use kinematical equations kinematical equations first we will look at kinematical equations where there is linear motion that is v square is equal to u square plus 2as uh, we also have v is equal to u plus um, half 280 no no it is half 80 v is equal to u plus half 80 and it is v is equal to u plus 80 so when we will look at rotational motion this kinematical equations will change at place of v that this is linear velocity we will have angular velocity that is final angular velocity this is initial linear velocity so initial angular velocity 2 at place of acceleration angular acceleration at place of displacement angular displacement similarly omega omega naught plus alpha t this is the conversion of kinematical equations from linear motion to rotational motion so of course we are going to use this once because we are uh, in rotational motion so first we will look at this because it has time so omega minus omega naught that is equal to alpha t so omega minus omega naught upon alpha that will give us time we know that omega is nothing but 2 pi n so here it is 2 pi n final frequency because that is final angular velocity 2 pi n i because this is initial angular velocity so initial frequency that it is that is equal to time upon alpha now if i remove 2 pi as common so it will be nf minus ni upon alpha that is equal to t but if you notice we have the value of nf we have the value of ni but we don't have the value of alpha now to calculate the value of alpha we'll go to second kinematical equation or this kinematical equation which i have written here that is this one sorry to this one we'll go that is omega square minus omega naught square which is equal to 2 alpha theta so i'll keep alpha over here so omega square minus omega naught square upon 2 theta now again we know that omega is nothing but 2 pi n so i'll do that substitution so 2 pi n f minus 2 pi n i because this is initial angular velocity the whole square on both the sides upon 
2 theta that is equal to alpha. Now we have all the values except the value of theta. So we will not stop over here, we will do some changes in both the equations and then we will go to the value of, then we will move to find the value of theta. Now if I take alpha in this equation on right hand side, so this becomes 2 pi nf minus ni that is equal to alpha upon theta, t sorry. So this is your equation 1 and this is your equation 2. So if you notice in equation 1 and equation 2 on right hand side, you have alpha in both the equations. So can I write these two equations are equal? Yes, of course we can write. So I will write 2 pi nf minus ni upon t is equal to 2 pi nf the whole square minus 2 pi ni the whole square upon 2 theta. Now, two pi nf minus ni upon t, which is equal to now this two pi and this two pi. We will have to take square of it. So I'll write four pi square. This becomes nf the whole square minus ni the whole square upon two theta. So two from here and two remains pi from here and single pi remains over here. This 2 and this 2 gets cancelled. So we are left with only pi over here. So now on left hand side we have nf minus ni upon t that is equal to we are just left with pi over here upon theta nf square minus ni the whole uh, okay ni square. Now one revolution means one revolution in theta, one revolution. So how how, how much will uh, what what will be the value of theta? It will be two pi. So if my body is completing n revolutions, theta will be two pi into n. So this is the formula of theta. Theta is equal to two pi n. So at place of theta nf minus ni upon t that is equal to pi and here we will apply the formula a square minus b square. So a minus b and a plus b and at place of theta I will write 2 pi n. So this and this will get cancelled. So now it is you can keep this t in the denominator you have pi over here you have nf plus ni, nf is 0, ni is 3 upon 2 and this 2 pi n. So now we have all the values, we can calculate t, just shift this t over here, 2 2 is a 4 pi n and this 3 pi in the denominator on the side, oh, so 3 pi. So this pi and this pi gets cancelled. So 4 into the value of n is 21 upon 3, 3 7s are 21. So time is 4 7s are 28, second is the time. So the fan will stop after 28 seconds.